4K 60 frames per second, electronic stabilization, the E 4K Plus does all that and more for less than the current reigning champion, the GoPro Hero 6 Black. Even though it costs less, is the quality still up to par? Let's find out. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. Back on the action camera train. No kidding, action camera videos are my favorite videos to make because it generally gets me out of the house doing something and making a video at the same time. Two birds, one action camera. <laughs> Dad jokes. But you guys have been asking me to make this video for darn near a year now, and you know what? Better late than never. So let's find out just how good, or not good, the E 4K Plus actually is. And thanks so much to my friends over at B&H Photo Video for sending me this camera to show you. If you'd like to buy one of your very own, there will be links in the description below for you to do just that, because cameras, they're great. Now, Ye makes a heck of a good action camera. I've been using and recommending the Ye Lite for a very, very long time now. And okay, yes, they've had some hiccups in the e-discovery, but I've been generally impressed with the quality of the action cameras that they put out. Okay, time to hop into the video, and the most important part is to find out what is actually running this Goliath in tiny clothing. The source is for the win. That means we're gonna check out the basic specs. The E 4K Plus is the top of the line in the Yi family of sports cameras. It comes equipped with an Ambarella chipset and a quad-core CPU. Now, for regular old non-computer guy me, that sounds pretty impressive. It has a Sony IMX377 12 megapixel CMOS sensor and it can record in 4K 60 frames per second. Yeah, 4K 60. Back when this came out, it topped the GoPro Hero 5 for just about every major spec. That was its main competition at the time and it even beat it for recording frame rates but cheaper. Now the GoPro Hero 6 Black does 4K 60 but it's still pretty impressive feat and cheaper than that. There's not a lot of cameras that are able to maintain 4K 60 for long periods of time. There's not much in the market even even in high-end cameras that can do that yet. In addition to some very serious recording modes, the E4K Plus also has some pretty darn good three-axis electronic image stabilization. As far as recording goes, it comes with a 1200 milliamp hour battery with a reported 73 minutes of battery life at 4K 60 frames per second. Physically, it feels almost exactly like the Yeelite, which we're gonna discuss more about that here in a minute, because that's not necessarily a good thing. On the top is the single power slash record button. The side contains its USB-C connector. And you know what? Now that USB-C is proliferated around. I like seeing gear that has USB-C more than I used to. I used to be like, oh, it's USB-C again. But now that all my chargers are USB-C, I actually, I'm starting to become a USB-C snob, I, I guess. <laughs> Bottom has the quarter inch tripod mount and the back has the ever popular, well, for me at least, 2.2 inch touchscreen. But when you get right down to it, there's only one way to separate the real action cameras from the in-action cameras. Man, lots of dad jokes today. And that's to see how many of the pillars are holding it up. First up, ease of use. Simple. I like my camera gear simple. And when it comes to all sorts of camera gear, the easiest way to simplify the user experience is to include some kind of touchscreen. You know, act like it's 2018. Sony. And thankfully, the Yi 4K Plus has the standard Yi touchscreen and menu system. You can easily access all of the features, functions, and modes straight from the back of the camera. The touchscreen is very responsive and intuitive to navigate, but that's not all. Well, um, that is kind of all. But another benefit to adding the screen to the back of the action camera is you can also see what the camera sees. Old school action cameras just, you know, you kind of pointed it at the thing you kind of wanted to see, but you didn't really know if you were getting it. But with this, you can actually see what is recording. Now, what I like is the Yi action cameras are really second only to GoPro in the ease of use. I'm a huge fan of the GoPro operating system. But there is a negative when it comes to ease of use, and this thing is finicky when it comes to SD cards. Now, I'm a big fan of Samsung micro SD cards because they work just as well, but they're generally cheaper when I go try to find them on Amazon. But I could not get the Yi 4K Plus to recognize a single one of my SD cards, and I had to go out and go out and buy a SanDisk. Sure, you know, it worked fine once I got the SanDisk in there, but if you are on team Samsung SD card, you're gonna have to keep that in mind. They're not, they're not really gonna work too well. Next up, durability. Okay, here's a pretty big ding against the Yi 4K Plus. We mentioned this earlier, but it feels almost exactly like the Yee Light. And if you've watched this channel for any amount of time, you know that means it feels plasticky and kind of cheap. 
I mean, that's not, that's not, that's not what you want your action camera to sound like. In addition to the body feeling physically cheap, I've only used this thing for a few days and I cannot really get this side door to actually stay plugged into the camera. You know, for like no reason at all, this darn thing just falls off. Which makes it harder to recommend for things like mountain biking as this is a vector for moisture to kill your camera. Now, I generally let this slide on the Yee Light as it is an under $100 budget action camera, but when you start getting into the big leagues of price, I expect a little more in the durability department. I do think Yi realized this because when you look at B&H to get one, it shows that it's included with a waterproof case, which, I mean, that's not a perfect solution, but I'll go easier on it because it actually comes with a solution, so, you know, you know, balancing out. Number three, compatibility with GoPro-style mounts and accessories. The traditional GoPro block is still the market standard for shape of action cameras, and, you know, will likely to continue as they pull themselves from the brink. All accessories are made for this, and moving away from that standard is a pretty dangerous gamble for companies to go looking to get into the action camera business. But as you've already seen, thankfully the E4K Plus is both the correct shape and size to work with all standard GoPro mount. I find that the Yeez in general are actually a little more versatile than their GoPro counterpart as they come with a quarter inch tripod mount on the bottom. This might, I mean that might not sound like a lot, but that mounting option is so useful if you want to use your regular camera gear with your action camera. You don't have to then double adapt it back to tripod, you just use it straight from the camera. I like things straight from camera. I wish GoPro had a quarter inch mount on the bottom. Number four, or decent image quality. Okay. Here's the big one, image quality. Yes, I keep it down on the list because it's not the most important aspect in my mind, but it is still one of the pillars, and for this price, it better be darn good. Now, with the hurricane and all associated weather, it's been seriously raining around here. It's been pretty bleh around here for the past week or so, so there's not been too much sunlight to use this camera on, but for all that, I think the image quality held up pretty well. No, it doesn't look fantastic, but this is pretty low light stuff for a small censored action camera, and the more important aspect is to look at the small details, maybe not the overall image. You can see more detail in the leaves and stuff like that and the image while we're moving, you know, looks pretty good. We'll try to do a more vibrant video if the sun ever comes out again. I, I'm not sure if that's ever going to happen, but for right now, I don't think there's many other action cameras that would have handled the low light as well as the Yi 4K Plus. And here's a vlogging test of the Yi 4K Plus. And yeah, we do have it in a gimbal right now. We're kind of cheating a little bit. We're trying to get this in before the uh, hurricane rain start, which should be hitting here in like an hour or so. so. Hooray. We're not in like the direct path of the hurricane. We're just, the rain will start and it's hard to do action stuff when it's, you know, pouring rain outside, so. Number five, and my personal favorite, stabilization. Here's where we come to what sets the okay action cameras apart from the amazing ones. Stabilization is something that bigger cameras are starting to incorporate more of, but I personally think that action cameras are the ones that benefit from it the most. Think about it. Action cameras are generally used when subjects are either moving around a lot or doing something cool. And sometimes gimbals just aren't very practical. And I'm happy to say that the stabilization on the Yi 4K Plus is actually pretty good. Now, I don't think it does as good as the Hero 6 Black, and you know, what we'll find out for sure on Friday. But for a camera at this price point, I think it works perfectly well. So what, right? So should you go out and get a Yi 4K Plus? If you are looking to start shooting in 4K 60 frames per second and don't want to get a GoPro, or you want to get one of the most budget-friendly 4K 60 frames per second cameras out there, I would absolutely say get the Yi 4K Plus. It's well-priced, has great features, and works, you know, pretty darn well. So long as you don't use Samsung SD cards. <laughs> Thanks for watching.